Hey, what you doing? Well, I've just been thinking about that gazebo over there. Over there? Yeah, over there. Yeah. You know how every time I get in it, I get hurt, and yeah. honestly, I've been very afraid of it lately. Mm -hmm. But now I've been thinking how much I love the gazebo. Really? And I've realized that if anything ever happened to the gazebo, that I would be really upset. Okay, uh, this is an interesting change of heart, but... Yeah, let's go get in it. Okay, let's Time go. travel. Let's go. Hey, and I was thinking, uh, this time, instead of, you know, going back and just observing something, let's go back in the past and fix something. Okay. You got anything you need to fix? Genius. 1750, my great, great, huh? great, great uncle was a dude who came to the new world, but then he died of scurvy on the way, man. We can go back and save his life. Okay, well, we'll need to gather some oranges. What? Yeah, oranges cure scurvy. I and that. I just conveniently have some right here. Somebody left some in the gazebo. Oh, cool. Huh. Got oh. two. Maybe I can get three. All right. Let's see. Gather them up and I'll count down so we can travel. Oh, no, I'm having, in the I'm, past. I'm having trouble getting three, but there we go. I have three now. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. 1750, man. Look over there. Over there? Yeah, I bet that's my uncle's house. Yeah, let's go up to it. Here it is right in front of us. I'm gonna knock on the door. Okay. Hello? Hey, I'm Link, your great, 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 great nephew, and I've come from the future to tell you that you're gonna die on your trip to the new world of scurvy. Don't, don't die. Uh, I think you mean you're gonna die of scurvy on your trip to the new world. You said new world of scurvy, which is like, sounds like a place he doesn't want to go. Either yeah. way, I'm just sounds gonna like a cool give club. him. Hey, sorry, sir, just eat these oranges here. They're really good citrusy. Oh, okay. There's you. more where that came from, right here. Hey, look over there. Over there? His neighbor's watching us. We should offer some oranges to him since you have some. Yeah, we don't wanna be rude. Uh, excuse me, sir, would you like some oranges? Here you go. You can okay. have some too. Yeah. Okay, this is, well, they're all eating oranges. I man. love to watch people eat oranges. Look at him eat him. He well, seems like he's loving it. Your uncle looks like he's doing okay. Uh, the neighbor, on the other hand, over there. Over there? He looks like he's having some sort of allergic reaction or something. Oh, well, yeah, of course he's he is. Blue. He's deathly allergic to oranges. Uh, what? So, and you know what? Now it looks like he's, his throat is constricting and looks like he's dying. Oh, Link, we, oh, no. we, we're killing this guy. He's dead. He's totally dead. There's nothing we can do at this point. Oh, that's a shame because he was working on a brand new invention. Huh? A, a invention? Yes. Of what? A spectacular new invention. I believe it was called the gazebo. Uh -oh. The gazebo? Oh my goodness. It seems that we've traveled back in time we saved my great, great, great uncle's life, but simultaneously, we've killed the man who was about to invent the time traveling device that we know as the gazebo. Ah! Let's get back to the gazebo. Ah! You know the crazy thing about this time around? What? Neither one of us has gotten, oh God, I think I just sprained my ankle. Oh no, let's, let's get, get back, back to the gazebo. gazebo. Ah! I don't know, I think it's over there. Over there, ah! yeah. So it seems that we destroyed the adventure of the gazebo. What happens next? Before, before he was able to invent it. So what happens next? 